Never Stop Learning, week 280. We're gonna take a quick look at the paste options in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. All right, so the paste options are not new. They've been around for a really long time, but I thought I'd run through them with you uh, just to see if you might be able to use them in your workflow. All right, so I'm gonna be using this object here to help me out. And you can find these options over here in the edit menu. If you scroll down, you'll see this section here. All right, so starting at the top, we have cut, then we have copy, then paste, paste in front, paste in back, paste in place, paste on all artboards, and clear. All right, now clear is just gonna delete the object from your artboard. Cut is gonna remove it from your artboard, but it's gonna bring it onto this invisible imaginary clipboard. All right, and that way you'll be able to paste that object using these different functions. All right, copy is gonna leave the object on your artboard, and it's gonna make a copy of it onto that clipboard that I was talking about earlier. And then you could paste it using these different functions. All right, so in here, you're gonna see the different keyboard shortcuts available to you on your machine. This is on my machine. I'm currently using a Mac, and I'm gonna to try to call out all the PC shortcuts that I can remember. All right, so I'm gonna hit escape because I'd like to work with keyboard shortcuts just to speed things up, and I hope you guys do the same thing. All right, so I've got my object targeted, and I'm ready to make a copy of this. So I'm gonna hit Command-C on a Mac, Control-C on a PC. Now that I have a copy of this on my imaginary clipboard, I could bring this back into my artboard by pasting it. So I'm gonna hit Command-V on a Mac, Control-V on a PC. So now I have two circles. The one on top is the one I just created, the one I just created is the one that's targeted, and you can see all that info over here in the Layers panel. All right, so back over here to the artwork. Now, first thing I want you guys to notice is uh, that, yeah, I made a copy of it, but notice it's also offset of the original object. And that's really important because that's pretty much the basis of this uh, video here. I had a lot of people asking me, why does Adobe Illustrator offset my paste? Why doesn't it do it directly on top of the original one? And this is kind of like a safety feature. This is so that me as a user, I'll know that I've just pasted a new object onto my artboard. So visually, I see what's going on here. But there's other ways to work as well. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this new one. Now, another way to work is pasting it directly on top, which is called paste in front. All right, so Command F on a Mac, Control F on a PC. Now notice it doesn't really look like anything happened. But back over here in the layers panel, it shows us that we have two ellipses. The one on top is the one that's targeted and that's the one that I just created. So I'm gonna make some changes to this over here in the swatches panel. I'm gonna change the color and I'm gonna reduce the size. I'm gonna grab this corner, click and drag. And if I hold down shift, I'm gonna make a nice clean circle. And if I introduce option on a Mac, alt on a PC, I'm gonna be growing and shrinking from the center. All right, so I'm gonna release. And now you see how my artwork changes up a bit. I'm gonna deselect so you get a better look. All right, so our original object is this dark one back here. And this was our second object. Now I wanna show you guys how to paste in back. Now when we're talking about paste in back, it doesn't send it to the bottom of the stack. It just pastes it in back of whatever you have selected. So I've got the top object selected. I'm on a Mac, so on my keyboard, I'm gonna hit Command B for back, Control B on a PC, and that's gonna do a paste in back. Now, it might not look like much has changed, but again, take a look over here in the layers panel. You'll see that I have my top object, but the one that's targeted is this guy right here sandwiched in the middle. That's the one that I just created. So it's above this guy, but below my top object. All right, so let's uh, change the appearance of this guy. I'm gonna give it a different color green, and then just shrink this guy down like I did earlier, and then release. So if I deselect this, you can see how I'm starting to create a pretty cool effect here just using some basic circles. Now imagine this on some text or some different more complex shapes. All right, so we've been playing around with a couple different options. Let me grab all three of these objects. This time I'm gonna do a cut. I'm gonna hit Command X on a Mac, Control X on a PC. All right, now I no longer have it on my artboard. What I wanna do next is Command Option Shift V. 
All right, so that's the keyboard shortcut for Max, and that's gonna do paste on all artboards. If you're on a PC, then you're gonna hit Control, Alt, Shift, V. All right, so if I zoom out and then bring up my artboard tool, you'll see that I have that same object across all my different artboards. All right, so let me just kind of zoom in a little bit, give you guys a better look at that. All right, so I'm gonna switch back, switch to the selection tool, and then just zoom in on this guy. All right, great, so I've got this guy here. Now we ran through all the different options. I'm gonna go back into the edit menu. Now the only one we didn't touch was paste in place. Now the only reason I didn't cover that was I haven't been able to find the difference between paste in place and paste in front. So this is where I tell you guys, I don't know everything about Adobe Illustrator and that's why I study it nonstop. All right, so if you guys could get in the comments and let me know what the difference is between paste in front and paste in place, I'd really appreciate it. So there you have it folks, that's a quick look at the different paste options available to you in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017.